Very recently, Facebook or Meta released Llama 2, which is a more powerful, uh, the most powerful open source language model. But it doesn't have some of the nice features that OpenAI's GPT models have, like function calling. Today, I'm going to show you Flama, which is function calling Llama. It's a set of model weights on the 7 billion and 13 billion model that have been trained so that when it's appropriate to call a function you input, it will return a structured JSON object. You can check out the data set on which it was trained right here. And today, I'm going to show you how you can run this model, how you can do inference on it using a free Google Collab notebook. You'll find the notebook within the Hugging Face repo for Trellis 2 7B function calling. Let's go into the repo here and take a look. First step is set up and install. I recommend running this uh, with a GPU, which is usually possible using a free uh, Collab notebook. Go to runtime, change runtime type, select GPU and select uh, T4. It's fine on a standard, um, standard CPU runtime shape. Um, of course, you can go for high if you have a pro plan. Now, once you've done that, you will select the runtime as GPU, uh, select the model. Here, I'm loading the 13 uh, billion parameter model. Um, now, this is optional. You don't actually need to log into Hugging Face because um, I'm going to put the models as public. Then you can optionally uh, connect your Google Drive. I recommend this. Basically, the first time you download the model into Collab, it can take quite a bit of time. But if you have connected your Google Drive, um, it will be much faster the next time around. It could be a difference between 30 minutes and maybe five minutes. OK, so then uh, after setting up Google Drive, you'll move ahead and make some of these installs here. We need some different packages. After the installs, we import these packages here, including transformers. There's also bits and bytes. And what this is going to let us do uh, later when we load the model, uh, which is right here, is to load it in four bit form. Um, so this means the model is roughly going to be a quarter the size of what it normally would be. And that allows us to run the model more quickly and with a smaller amount of RAM. So you can just uh, click go here and it will start to load the model. Now, as I mentioned, this can take quite some time the first time you do it. And it's why I recommend connecting Google Drive. That means the next time you run it, it'll be much faster because you'll have already pre-downloaded uh, from Hugging Face to Google Drive. Here you can see the configuration. It's the 13B chat function calling model. Uh, next, you'll set up the tokenizer, just run that cell. And now let's see inference. So here for inference, um, I've already got a sample set up. I've got an input, provide a brief comparison of salsa and bachata. So I'll just run that here. You can see the prompt uh, system prompt is set up. The comparison here. This is not running with function calling. Uh, you can see I didn't input any functions here. So it's just giving a typical response uh, to this query. I've noted some rates here just from some of my tests. But what we're all here for is the function testing. So let's take a look. Um, here, I've input uh, some function metadata. So you can see functions for searching archive, for getting the weather, or for searching Bing. And so these are injected into the system prompt. You can find more details on how that's done within the Hugging Face repo. Now, when you run that cell there, uh, you'll then be able to now do something requiring a function, um, a function call. Now, by the way, that has finished doing inference uh, for this non-function calling question. So let's now run this here. And my query is search Bing for dog species. So you can see now uh, F stream is not defined. So I just need to run this cell. I've run that cell. And now I'm injecting this function metadata in a structured way, which is very much how you do it at OpenAI. And now it's responding, and it's responded immediately with a structured JSON object and an end of sentence response. Now, this is happening because of how I've trained the model so that it knows if it's calling a function, it must respond with a clean JSON object. It won't be 100% perfect, but I've tested it across a lot of examples. You can leave some feedback in the discussion on the Hugging Face forum if you have any further suggestions. But I think it does a good job of catching a lot of scenarios um, 
where you want to run uh, functions and you can, of course, inject the functions in yourself up here. Uh, just one last little bonus uh, for those of you who want to push a little further. It's possible to make use of rope scaling. Uh, this extends the rotational um, rotational embedding so that you can get longer context. Lama 2 is a 4,000 token model. It allows roughly 3,000 words, but you can probably get double or maybe even more. Uh, this would be double here with a factor of two. So if you want to play around, you can try adding that in as well and get a model of up to eight, um, 8K parameters. All right, folks, that's it for Flama, function calling, Llama 2. Cheers. <laughs>